Brain tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. So Google is testing another new feature in Chrome Canary, which actually isn't a new feature per se. Um, it's called Read Anything and has been around previously. And then uh, Google removed it. And now once again in Chrome Canary, um, they are now testing and trying out and working on the Read Anything, which is very similar to your reader mode and um, reader view you get in your co other conventional web browsers like Firefox, Opera and Microsoft Edge which lets you read web pages and websites and articles in a clutter-free layout without any ads toolbar. So it just simplifies your whole viewing experience, as many of you would know. Now, the new Read Anything uh, is, once again, like most features in the Canary browsers, is hidden behind an experimental flag. And it will open up and be available in the site panel. And you're not going to see the new Read Anything in the stable version. It's not there as yet. Uh, it's still early days and it's only available at this stage in Chrome Canary. So to enable the new read anything, um, as always, to enable the flag, we head to the Omnibox, the address bar, and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just type in read anything. That's enough to bring up the relevant flag, which reads, enables the read anything feature, which generates a reader friendly view of web pages. Open the site panel and select read anything to try the feature. We change that from default to enabled and we'll have to relaunch Chrome Canary to apply that flag as always. Now, um, if we head back to the site panel, you will now see that Read, Read Anything is a new feature over and above other features that were previously available. So quite a lot going on in the site panel in Chrome Canary. And if we click on Read Anything, yeah, we get uh, the new Read Anything, the new reader mode. Uh, in the site panel. Now, before we take a look at some of those features, I'm just going to head over quickly to Wikipedia so we can just open an article just to demonstrate for you, uh, in uh, just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video. I'm just opening up any article in Wikipedia. And now if I head back, yeah, you can see a very simplified layout as mentioned, just making uh, reading um, websites, articles, and web pages a lot simpler and more efficient in the browser. Now, in case you're wondering, okay, that's quite small, um, we can expand and enlarge that site panel to your own personal choice and preference. And yeah, we get a couple of options. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, we can change the font. So as you can see, if I click on different fonts, I can actually change that font to my own choice. And then I can um, decrease the size of the font. I can increase it. So if you are a little bit visually impaired, then we can increase that, which I think is a great move. And then we can actually change the theme. That's defaults, light, dark, yellow. That'll be nice for a night mode and night reading, blue. So you get the idea. I'm just going to put it back to default. And then we can change the line height, uh, tight. You get the idea, loose. I'm going to put it back to default. And then we can change the letter spacing, tight loose very loose so we've got a couple of options so i think that's quite a nice handy feature and as it as mentioned is not available uh, in the stable version of google chrome and is currently in testing uh, in chrome canary the preview version of the browser and that's the new read anything currently now available in the side panel so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one